they seem to have detected or discovered that there was um, indeed an incipient mechanical failure in part of the drive system of the of the V22. This comes after a, 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 an accident last year where um, another Air Force aircraft, another Air Force V22, crashed off the coast of Japan and um, the occupants unfortunately were lost. And that was again, that was due, seems to have been due to mechanical failures, um, uh, the, the, the breakage of some of the gear wheels in the transmission of, of, the, of the tow rotor. The V-22 is used mostly by the U.S. Marine Corps. It's also used by the uh, used by the Navy to uh, deliver cargo to ships at sea, and it's also used by the Air Force uh, Special Operations Community. It's not possible, for example, simply to replace this by the by the Chinook because the Chinook is not designed to be carried on ships. It stands too high off the ground. Um, to fit inside the hangars of the of the amphibs that the that the Marines use, so there's no real substitute for it. For special operations, the uh, speed and range is very advantageous. Quite simply, you can get in and out over a longer distance under the cover of night, which is what they really worry care about. It's a pretty heavy helicopter. It is quite large, and and very powerful. Its rotors are relatively small. When you have small, smaller rotors, you need to more, put more power in them. So you've got very, very highly loaded transmissions between the, the rotor that spins at perhaps a few hundred RPM and the engine, which is going 15,000 RPM. And uh, problems in that area are almost to be expected. The other problem is, uh, again, because of the relatively small rotor, that results in very rapid um, downwash below the aircraft. Standing underneath this thing is like being in a tornado. Um, but if you watch Marines doing a fast rope operation out of this aircraft, the first guy down has to pretty much lay down on the rope to secure it because the wind is whipping it around. And there are videos where the second guy down actually jumps on top of the first guy to hold the rope down. If there's any kind of loose dirt, loose soil or loose vegetation underneath the aircraft, you get a tremendous dust cloud coming up. And some of that dust is going to go into the engine inlets. 